Ooh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Monday today and um man, it's been it's been a week. It's been a week since I made a video and I have a good explanation for this problem. That's better. I have a good explanation for this since I was sick. I haven't been sick in like literally 6 or 7 years and I just was sick. I had a chicken burger like on Tuesday. And apparently it wasn't good, so I was puking. Um, my sister ate the same thing, and we were both puking, so it was probably that thing. And then uh, the day after, I still had uh, stomach pain. And then the day after that, I got crazy, like a crazy cold, so I, I was completely stuffed up. And I was like, if I go to the gym now, you know, it's, it's just not gonna work. My body's just not ready for it. So I took pretty much the week off and I did work on a lot of stuff for uh, the face Call of Duty team uh, for their plans and stuff so I, I was productive kept posting on Twitter and Instagram pictures and stuff uh, no YouTube videos but we're back um, and I want to show you guys something that I've made over the past couple days that I'm really proud of so uh, I would like to welcome you to the brand new intro to this channel so let's do it in three two one Come on guys. Dude, how awesome is that intro? I think it's pretty awesome. It is today. It's super warm outside. It's 32 degrees. As you can see, the sky is, the sky is super blue. We are already ready to go to the gym. Today gonna be a gym workout video. More, uh, I'm gonna film everything in the gym um, and uh, do an old school style commentary. I hope you like that intro. I really do like it a lot. I think it looks really professional. Uh, right now, let's just get ready, get our pre-workout in because I got the new pre-workout, um, a new tub of um, 24K, and I um, also need to take care of my clothes because they are. Way too many washed clothes that I still have to take upstairs. And there's this guy upstairs right now, he's doing a bathroom. Um, there's a bath, <laughs> just sitting in our, our living room. But I'll get my stuff ready, and uh, let's go to the gym. I'm really excited. Yo, the luck is real, dude. The scoop is on top. <laughs> oh, my life. So as you know, we had a deload week last week, and now, well, the week before we got sick, we got deload week, and then um, last week was supposed to be a normal week, but we didn't train obviously. Was, so we kind of had like a two-week deload week, two-week de deload period. So um, and obviously I'm recovering from being sick, so the weight is I'm probably not going to be able to hit anything crazy or train like normal. I don't think. I don't think. The fuck? Um, I don't think I can train like super normal, but we'll try our best. We got a push day today, and um, so we're benching today. And so I'm hoping I can at least do. Um, I think we were on 25 each side for five times eight. So I hope we can at least do 22 and a half or five, or even, or maybe just 20 and then 22 is at the end, the last two sets or something. Um, but we'll see where we stand and how things go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I have to see how it feels, how warm up feels and stuff. And um, we have to really, really, really warm up now because, damn, it's been a while. So uh, let's just jump in the gym. Uh, I'm gonna get, get some get some ice for my. Um, yeah, this this seems enough. Uh, we'll get some ice for G fuel and then uh, we'll 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 go outside and, and train. What is going on guys, welcome to the commentary part of this video, as you can see you're watching right now is me warming up doing some rotator cuff exercises, making sure my shoulders are nicely warmed up. Uh, you're going to be watching the chest workout that I did today, chest and triceps, I also included, uh, I didn't include um, my side raises, but I did side lateral raises as well for shoulders, just one exercise, five sets. Um, but I want to talk about something different today than the workout, but... Um, it is um, correlated to the workout, I guess. So, as you all know, I was sick last week. Um, from Tuesday night, pretty much, till Saturday, I was really sick. And Sunday, I was feeling better. And today, I was 
ready to go. So um, a lot of you guys are asking me, because I've been tweeting and doing Snapchats and stuff, and me being sick, like, should I be training when I'm sick? And um, this is a very hard question for me to answer, but I'm gonna try my best to explain uh, as well as I can um, what my philosophy and my idea on this is. Now, I do wanna say that I'm never sick. Like, in the last, I haven't been sick since I uh, started training, which is over five years. Well, not over five years, four and a half years. I started training four and a half years ago and I haven't been sick since like a flu or like a, a severe cold or anything like that. Um, the last time was like six, seven years ago. So um, I do ha have to say this with a little experience that I do have being sick, which was last week for the first time while training. But um, what I do know is that it all really depends on how well you know your body, how sick you are and what type of sickness you have. Uh, so if you have the stomach flu, uh, you have a severe stomach ache, it's really bad, then you should never ever go train. Um, your body is not ready for it, just take a day of two uh, of rest, make your body recover, and then hit the gym. If you hit the gym while being really really sick, having stomach aches, then it will only get worse, you have a shit workout, you'll puke all over the place, it's just not very well for your body to take. Now I do want to say is, if you have a cold, if you're just having a cold or a little bit of a sneeze and it's not really that bad, then you can definitely go to the gym, in my opinion. Um, again, it is your thing. You have to know how severe that cold is and how well you know your body to realize the fact um, if you should go or not. So it's decide that if you feel like absolute shit, you have a headache, your eyes are like fucking dying, you sneeze all the time, your nose is stuffed, and you also have like a little bit of a, maybe like um, your throat is very sore. Um, those are obviously extremes, but um, then I wouldn't go, but if you just have a little bit of a cold, then you should definitely go. So a thing that I can give you guys is everything below the mouth is not okay. If you have pain in your stomach or heart pain, <laughs> whatever, like very severe stuff, definitely not go. If it's anything above your mouth, so like you have a headache or you have a little bit of a cold in your nose, your nose is stuffy, then you can definitely go, you know? But it all depends on how well you know your body. But uh, what you're watching right now is, by the way, the last set. I said before we started this video, I said, I hope I could do 22 and a half each side for five times eight. And I felt so good that I could do the last set with uh, 25 kilos. So I was really, really happy. No help at all. I had the guy there just in case, but um, I don't think he touched the bar in the last rep either. I really hope he didn't, but it felt very, very well. Uh, I had a great training, man. I was so surprised by the fact that it, it went so well. Maybe because I, I went into the training, maybe like having low expectations about it because of like first a deload week, then a week of sickness, and then a uh, first day back in the gym. Um, but it felt so good. I was so happy uh, with these, um, this machine chest press, um, I have 25 kilos, which is a little bit more even than I did three weeks ago before the deal a week. So all very, very positive. I did some flexing here, as you can see. Um, I feel like I'm looking really good and this is, honestly, man, it's, I look pretty well. Uh, I was really happy with, uh, with how that looked. Um, then I went over to some cable flies. This is the third and last exercise. And as you can see, I'm doing more of a push movement than an actual fly movement. I don't go very wide with my arms just because the stretch in the chest isn't, isn't getting bigger by flaying your arms the, super far out. Um, the full stretch, you can also get by, by doing a full range of motion pressing movement. So uh, that's why I decided to do that because I have uh, less pain in my shoulder when I do that. This is more of a close up. This is from the other way around where the lighting is a little bit better. Um, I look pretty lean and shredded actually here, but um, that's be just because the pump and the lighting and I look A1, uh, you, know, you know what I mean? These, these are like highlights almost, you know, and just like in, look at my bicep veins on the right side, like God damn. Uh, but yeah, it was super, it's super warm today, so my veins were popping, and I obviously had the pump, and I had a very good day of eating before that, and today as well, and a very lot of water, um, so I look good today um, in the gym, which I was really happy about. Uh, then moved on to some tricep extensions, very easy and, and simple exercise that I do all the time. Um, the stack on this machine isn't big enough for uh, for my tricep extension, so I had to add on weight in the last like three sets, I did five sets, I think. 
Um, so as you can see here, I added two and a half kilos on it uh, just because, uh, you know, I could do heavier and I was very proud of it. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you guys that you can improvise if you want to. This is, as you can see, uh, I didn't record that set, I think, or it was messed up either way. But as you can see, the stack, it doesn't have the thing on it. But it is a full stack, though, but it doesn't have the thing on it yet. So I, I switched the clips around. Um, then we move on to the last exercise, which is actually a quite funny one. Uh, on the low row machine right here with the cables, I do the tricep um, donkey extensions, I think they're called. Like, I don't know, these are fire. So good, and with cable, you feel it all the way from stretch to contraction. It's super nice. Uh, uh, the mind muscle connection on those is like incredible. So definitely try that out. Um, I have a very intense talk coming up about this channel about how I look and about my biggest insecurity. So make sure to keep watching, enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys in another video, which will be very soon, I promise. Deuce. Ooh, okay. Whoops. All right, guys. Ah, uh, I just went outside. You see, I'm super sweaty. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more and the reason why I'm half naked is because that's the whole thing that I want to talk about today and um, that's the fact that I'm a fitness channel but um, I feel like I didn't make the fitness content that I wanted, you know? Uh, you don't see me shirtless often, you don't see me um, showing my physique and where I'm at and uh, how I'm feeling and stuff. Um, because that's a couple reasons why. One, I always felt like you had to have some sort of standard to be like, so, so you credit, have enough credit so you could do that instead of like being like, fuck it, uh, this is me, uh, this is me after five years of training, this is me after whatever. Um, <coughs> and I always felt like I wasn't there yet. So I was, I was always like, can I do this? This is okay to do. Like. I, like, I don't know, I, I felt like I couldn't do it yet. And as you can see, so one thing that I wanna immediately show you is the chest. So as you, well, you can, uh, as you can see, this chest piece right here, this right pack for you guys, it's on the left side, I think, um, is a lot smaller than my left pack. And as you can see, I have a big scar here. For those of you who don't know, um, I broke my collarbone a couple years ago uh, playing football. Um, I got tackled and I fell like really badly on my shoulder. And I felt like since then the growth has been in even um, because I feel like they they had um, it was broken on three places for one, so they had to put it back together. And I feel like it's uh, shorter, so I feel like this side my collarbone ends here, so it's like this length, but here it ends right there. So it's, I feel like this side is longer, um, which with my benching, I was always like twisting in a certain way so I could prefer this side since I didn't have enough power here. And I felt like <coughs> over the last years, that really affected the growth. And as you can see, um, it's pretty severe. Um, it's not as bad as um, it used to be. And I also I still have a little bit of the chest pump um, from the workout, so it's not. It, I don't think it looks that bad, but probably on when I'm editing this video, I'm like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, there's a big difference here, and I'm. I want. I don't want to say I'm ashamed of it, but it's more like I really, really dislike it. Like I really do not like how it looks. I feel like it looks horrible, and I always try for perfection. Like um, a lot of people say, always say like. Uh, strive for progress, not perfection, and I and I agree with that. And my ph philosophy has always been, why not strive for both? Like, why would you just strive for progress? Obviously, progress is very, very important, and there's no way you get to perfection um, if you don't have any progress. But I always, with everything that I do, uh, I always want to do it perfectly. I want, I always want to do better, and I always want to strive for the maximum. Uh, amount that you could do. So for my body, I want to. I have a picture in my head that I want to look like, and I don't feel like I, I like. I have trouble showing 
myself until I get there, even though I know I will never get there because I always want more. So it's kind of a vicious circle. It's kind of messed up, but um, with this new intro and like, I have to step up my content, period. So I'm gonna show myself more. I'm gonna be more open. I'm gonna show, that's what I'm, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying. I gotta show myself more. I just wanna show my progress better than I used to. Um, and I wanna make sure, in my intro, I have a couple things. I have training, I have information and tips, and I have lifestyle and vlogs. And every video that I make has to have some type of training, some type of information, some type of tips, and also uh, some type of, it has to be an experience. It has to be like, when you watch my videos, I want you guys to take something away from it. I want you guys to close the video and be like, okay, oh, that makes sense. Or like, oh, I don't really agree with that, but I see how he's saying it or whatever it is, training wise or philosophy wise, like I like to talk. Um, I want to do that more. So um, yeah, I don't have the courage yet to go shirtless in a gym. And I don't think it's, it's very looked down upon, like very, very, very looked down upon. So I don't think I will do that too often, to be honest, maybe in different gyms when I'm filming every, somewhere else. But um, I want to show myself like this more. I want to show my fucking weakest point of my body here, this fucking pec more. I want to show more of my training. I want to show more of my progress. And I want to talk more about like actual information that you guys can use. And um, you know, when you click off the video, be like, fuck yeah. So uh, let's let's just go. Sh should we do like a physique update now? Fuck it, let's do it. Um, let me see if I can find a good spot where we can have it set up. So we, or I can do it like this. Okay. So this is the lighting from outside. Um, yeah, this is the most natural lighting that I can get right here. So at the front. With the, the pack doesn't look too bad for what I'm seeing right now, but I feel like on the software it's gonna look horrible. But this is the front. I'm not super lean. Well, I am lean, but like not crazy shredded. So, side. Other side, the weaker side. Let's do a side chest pose. Let's do a back. This is a latch spread right now. I mean, now you have a pretty good idea of how I look, right? So, um, I want to end the video here. I want to end the video here. I have another video to make for the card guys about water. Uh, I'll share the knowledge with you as well in another even different video. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like the new way of doing things. And I really hope you um, stay watching my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. Again, thank you so much. Um, see you guys later. Peace out.